Hello guys, my name is Kiyoshi, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Super Mario RPG. And yes, just so you know, the uh, skin is now changed, now that we have. Anyway, we left off in Rose Town, just finishing off a different save amp. So, we're gonna go back here. <clears throat> and excel a little bit. There doesn't actually seem to be anything here. The main reason you would come back here later is, uh, cause, uh, it's one of the only places you could buy some hard, some slightly trickier items. Like the pins and whatnot. And it's also a nice place. A place to buy items. We'll go ahead and restock on our stuff that we don't have enough of, and then we'll continue going. I like how they prevent you from buying 99 so you can't, like, cheese battles. That actually makes it kind of tricky. Alright. Anyways, in this uh, part of the playthrough, it's gonna do both a mix of grinding and kind of in between. We're gonna go into this suspicious uh, mm, called the Pipe Vault, because, uh... If we go in here, there's a secret path we can take. I think those flames just deal you damage, but these are guys are enemies. Alright. I got we still meet Goombas down here. The weakest I am still making an appearance here. Didn't get as much damage here, though. I did not see it. Okay. Alright. Our basic attacks do so much damage that we can combo down a lot of these enemies really quickly. Also, yeah, this is basically the same weak enemies from before. Piranha Plant is a little bit different, though. And much sort of trickier. Also, we can start building up our column planes a bit more. Well, this is not a pro enterable fight to know. Yeah, as tough as it is to grind inside of these layer areas, not all of them are really that useful. This one probably isn't really that useful to begin with, like. Other than the Prana Prats, there just doesn't seem anything worth it. We're doing a bunch of that. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Fenderville here. Alright. Now, big running theme you might already see with GL is he has not really a good way to, um, where any kind of big I am. You can still use Thunderbolt here. I have so many items that I could probably just revive Geo if he goes down, but ideally I can him down. Although he did go to sleep, which is a bit annoying. We already are using full attack, so. Alright. 
My gosh. They're still not dead yet. So we pretty much want to use melee attacks on him, but the problem is we can't really do that when this kind of thing happens. Finally killed one of them. See, even just battles attack it, I did a lot more damage than anything else. Alright, Gene finally woke up. So once we were able to melee them, we defeated them much more quickly. I'm just gonna use my tab now instead of waiting. I'm gonna try to maybe save some... Okay, these guys just make you lose coins instead of doing anything. Again! The Piranha Plant. Special enemy. Alright, well, we definitely want to use this on you. Time I, I haven't seen a nicer him before. Dude, these. I'm really underestimating these problem plans. We've gotten unlucky that one of them has been a special enemy literally every single time. We pretty much have to run now. Oh wow, we might actually die here. If so, this will be our first time we die, and it's literally just because. Yeah, yeah. That, Oh. Huh? Still couldn't run, really? After all that? Yeah, I pretty much deserve all that. Alright, I'll agree. Well, now you know that I'm a buying... Now you know that this is a true buying playthrough. Thankfully, a new feature is they do let you do auto saves now. This is a big thing that's different. I'm just gonna avoid every encounter now. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of those enemies. I think I just wanna do one fight specifically just to uh, get it out of the way, but once that's done, I'll be pretty much done from there. If we come back later, maybe these guys will be a bit easier, but not right now. Can't block that. It's not even when we get all sorts of unblockable attacks. I like how they tell you when a monster is all down, also that went a lot better. A lot of that was kind of mixed in with random RNG and some other stuff. So we're gonna play it a lot more safer this time. I was about to say, if we get another special enemy, we're immediately running. Because it's not a special enemy, it'll be fine. And yeah, most of the easy enemies are completely gone now. Every enemy is at least decently difficult. As tempting as it is to give items to Mario, I kind of need him to be using jump on enemies. Alright. We are pretty close, I think. We're pretty much almost to the end.
uh, pretty much lost me all the coins that I gained there. Finally got it done. Yeah, I'm playing this more safe. Alright. For some reason, I call this a different lane than what it's supposed to tell it, but if you understand, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Oh, I just realized. There's probably something around here. Trying to find the secret treasure chest. There it is. Rock coin. Alright, so the reason why I came here is because this is our favorite island. You're probably very familiar with it. Yes, there are Yoshis here. They even changed their name. Uh, uh, their races to be more similar to this. One of them speaks is a little bit differently, but other than that, it's about the same. So, um,. Main thing we have to do here is we talk to the green one. It turns out to be our friend Yoshi. Glad you finally made it to Yoster Isle, home of the Mushroom Derby. This is really confusing, by the way. I don't know why they call it Yoster Isle. Fun fact: if you play the Japanese version, it's not any different. It's actually just called Yoshi's Island or something. So I'm just gonna call it Yoshi Isle instead because it's easier. So, anyways, we're at Yoshi Isle here. It's just easier to say. I think the reason why they changed it to the other name is because... As they thought it sounded more funny. But anyways, see now that we're here, we can use your help. Please talk to a few pals here. Ha while you can't understand them, well, hop aboard and I'll be your interpreter. Alright. We have to jump on him. Now he can ram. him. Here's the fastest runner, but he's full of himself. It's racing on I, if I could run all day. By the way, you know what? I saw not too long ago a star falling somewhere by Moville. And she only races one on one, so everyone can't join us. Too bad. She can you feed innovate the old boss you today? Of course. Take my cookies. Good luck, I'm rooting for you. Thanks. I got major support on my side, so I could probably win today. Be so much if we uh, if we could all race together. So the cookies are actually really important because that's how you play one of the mini games. But anyways, we need to talk to this one. Not the cookies. All right, consider yourself lucky today. You got yourself a race one on one. So now we have to uh, owe the actual mushroom dairy. One instructions sure. Press A and B alternatively along with the liver. The tighter the rhythm, the faster you go. That's why during a race to eat a cookie, its energy will help you go faster. Nope. Keep alternating A and B with time with the beat. Let's practice. Here we go. This is kind of tricky if you haven't done it before. I like how he tells us that we're not doing it right. This is really confusing, but we'll keep trying it. We do need to do this to get a mini game. I think if you miss it, I want to input a asses up.
we are getting some. Uh, I I need a little bit better. It's very tricky, obviously, to time properly. Can't really mess it, by the way. You have to do it actually in the rhythm. Getting it very tedious. I think it'd be easier if we just race them. Yeah, this is pretty tedious, but yeah, we have to go for this. We only got like a little bit of boost. This is ridiculous. I don't want to waste any more time. We should just go to the race. So if you don't do anything, you just you just bail the jump or do anything else, which is just really weird. All right. I definitely have to still do a thing. This is really tough. I don't know why, but it feels like they made it way tighter than in the original game. You can't just bash either or you won't even get it at all. I think I need to improve ice speed a lot, a lot more. It felt like I was doing better there.
He has a ridiculous. Sorry if this is a weird blind playthrough thing, but we need to do this in order to unlock a secret, and we can only do this successfully. We do a bang, bang. I think it's probably faster at this point to just keep playing normally. This will probably be easier if we just spam races against Bossy. Because if we can sound easy, we can probably get going much faster. So I think that's how we're going to do this. You automatically get cookies at the end, so if you use all of them, you can probably guarantee that you win. So if we say no right away, we go straight to the race. Apparently they don't let you use a uh, cookie until later. Like, they don't let you use one right away, which is weird. There's really no better way to do this than to just practice the silly minigame over and over again. Alright. You can get more cookies for other lines, but... They're very punishing, it seems. If you don't get a certain amount of distance with your pushies, you can't even use cookies. You can't even use cookies. You can see me clearly trying to press Y, and uh, it doesn't work. I don't know if I just have to be faster at it, but it's a bit tricky. Okay, you can only get these one still. All right. What if we start off with a cookie right away? Hmm, there we go. All right, I have a strat now all of a sudden. Uh, I still lost anyway, but at least I got closer. Alright. Yeah, I think I found the strat now. You pretty much have to use a lot of to get stuff. 
which is one of them, because uh, the only way you can get more, supposedly, is by winning the race. At least now we know what to do. And yeah, you can't use it as well, moving. doesn't seem to change much or anything. We really do need to practice this thing for a while. If we can get a good intro and maybe delay it days for a bit later. Alright. When I said I was blind, I really did mean it. Like I said, I haven't even practiced this segment once. Alright. That was a lot better. I think that's the kind of the consistency I have to do. There, I spaced out my cookies better and we finally won. Alright, got it. Wow, unbelievable, you just beat Bashi. Starting today, Yoshi's the new boss around here. Sweet, when have you been able to sprint? Oh, yeah. oh well, I had my day in my cell. Let me give you a tip. Race someone slow, that way you'll be able to stash away the cookies. Nia yeah, Bosh, anyway, I just want to race. Come on, Bashi, let's see what you're made of. Um, alright, just stay out of the way. Oh, here's my cookie stash for the winner. Thanks to you, Mario, I finally beat that rascal, and we can all race together now. Here's something to remember me by. Travel during battle using one of these to give me a call. So, we get a special item, and we unlock a completely new ability thing that I think I will show off a bit later. Which is basically the same race, but you bet at least to get more of them. And if you can win again, while it's a bit trickier, you can get um, race keys doing that. That's the one reason why we had to go to the pipe ball. Now we're going to actually go to the proper town now, which is Moville. Ooh, I just ran out like a silly bus. Let's go actually in the area. I'm just gonna stay and I, I don't know how much FP I lost, so I'll go ahead and just do this. Now I promise this next area will feature a lot more grinding. Alright. Alright. Ooh, we got um, some weapons, finally. Weapons are always super important to get.
So we're gonna get items mostly for Gino because uh, he's AL, but we are going to also get others for our mutters. The work ants in particular are really useful. They, like, give us a lot of having the best stats of all the items. We'll buy some bid mushrooms for our remaining money. It's an emergency. Dinah's trapped in the mines. So this is where we need to go next, obviously. Sorry if that part took a while, but I, I did mention before that I am, I am complete. This is completely fine playthrough for me, so I have idea meant to do in most of the segments. It feels like they made the part a lot harder. Normally, it was actually probably a bit easier to do back on the Super Nintendo. It's like they made it a lot more tighter. At least they have a indication icon that tells you exactly when you've done it right, but it's much more precise for some reason now. Due to the flame rate of the game, probably making it ease even faster now. Oh, hello, Bowser. Bowser's still here. Yeah, I almost forgot about him. Most of our allies have run off. What do we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest bad brew around here, and don't you forget it. But Mario hears up a kid eye on that, so my reputation will be good. <laughs> have an image to keep up, you know? Let's show him who's boss around here. Alright. Bad news. Yeah, it's gonna start falling. Mm -hmm. The men Velk are doing their best from the outside. So they're all talking about how this I see it being ruined everything. Start dropped to the mountain, trapped some kids inside to make things worse. One of the men folk is stuck inside too. Please Mario, you gotta help us. Stop me up. It's working up a sight. So are the men. Everyone's digging, digging. I can't keep up with them. Alright. Let's keep going. We're gonna start clearing out this area. Oh dear, I sure hope the heads are okay. Feeling, but Mumphrey around here ain't gonna help a thing. I know what I said, but I don't think I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. Up there, that's the old entrance to the mines. We can't reach it anymore. If only I fell on Mario here, we could reach it and help me. Oh, I hmm. guess I ate him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, you heard the news. Sure have. Mario, will you help me with SCM? Of course. Mario, well, the entrance is up there. Here, hop on our shoulders. Alright. So we get to see some new monsters here. Alright, we need to use special attacks on them, supposedly. Very weak to them though, so they die pretty quickly. Beat that one in one shot. All right.
Ooh, nice block. It just exceeded, so it didn't even give us anything. We never got to actually fight the lava bubbles, but now we get to see them in action. Alright. Since we have uh, our jump ability, we can jump on pretty much every frame and still do full damage. They're resistant to pretty much every frame. this time. I want to die this early. Be up Mario first. Exactly who resists what can be kind of tricky. to the town because I'm right now far, so I'll go ahead and advise. Oh, we don't get pick-me-ups in this town. That's actually kind of annoying, so we should probably try and save the remaining pick-me-ups for later if we can. I'll take a rest here, I guess. Honestly, I do want to try and grind experience in at least one of these, so I am probably going to continue doing that here. So I'm going to save here, and I'm going to actually call it pets right here. So guys, I guys, I bet you were expecting to get a mm, star, but I guess Ghost or Isle had other plans. Yeah, there you go, I said. In the last bit, well... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys later when we get to continue playing. Until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.